What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys The Crew 2. This is a new game I'm adding to my channel and I have to give a big shout out to Ubisoft for sending me a gold edition copy. This video is sponsored by them so give them a big shout out. Also after you watch this video I highly recommend you guys checking out the link in the description. This will send you to their official website that will give you a lot more information that I might not have been able to cover in this video. So definitely check out that link after you watch this video. If you guys enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up and as always guys if you guys have any questions use the comment section down below. The way the game begins begins is you create your character and then you start with your first big event which is the live extreme series you're gonna have five of these throughout your career which gives you your first look at your fast fab feature that switches you from land to air to sea once you continue to progress through the game you will have access to these features and be able to use them in the open world as you see I am currently doing different activities throughout the game will allow you to grow your popularity which gives you access to more features in the game you initially start off as a rookie and as your popularity grows, so does your fame. Now there are five different status levels, rookie, popular, famous, star, and icon. I've been playing the game for about three hours and I finally made it to the popular level. Now once you reach icon, the grind is not over. You still got a lot of grinding to do. Once you reach icon, you will continue to level up from icon level one all the way to icon level 9,999. So there's a lot of grinding you can do in this game. Now for every icon level you achieve, you get one icon point. For every 10 icon levels, you receive free loot. And for every 100 levels up to level 600, you receive a free vehicle. So that's a total of six free vehicles, including one exclusive vehicle. That's just freaking amazing. That gives you a reason to grind those levels. There's also a global leaderboard that would display your player's level and your ranking, giving you something to grind for and compete against your friends and the people around the world. Now in Crew 2, we have different groups, which are called motorsports families. There are four groups, street racers, pro racers, off-road experts, and freestyles you will notice on your map each one has HQ and as your fame status level increases you unlock more features in each of these headquarters each family provides their own unique motorsport culture vehicles and set disciplines if you don't want to tackle any races you can just explore the open world and then do different activities that randomly pop up I like driving around and looking for ramps to just launch off of and do different stunts now if you ever want to switch your car or customize your character you can always head over to your home and as you continue to level your character you will unlock more homes I currently have two homes I have one in South Florida and then I have one in Los Angeles now what's really cool about these home is in these homes you can actually look at all your favorite vehicles so you can get some close-up look and just admire everything you have in your home plus you can customize those vehicles and you can customize the outfit you are currently wearing and the outfit you wear when you begin races now you're able to customize so much on all the vehicles from land to air to sea all the vehicles can be fully customized we're gonna hit square right now on my Austin Martin so it seems that customization was a big part of their plan for this game and we're gonna see everything we can do to it so we have the color we have the visual parts and then we have the performance so for the color you see the official colors that the Austin Martin comes in now if you hit R1 on PlayStation 4 you're gonna see that all the standard colors that you can change this car to now these aren't the only colors you can do you hit R1 again you have all the metallic colors you can change the car color to we have all the chrome matte and the list just keeps going on and on there's just so many colors so many features so many finishes you can do to this car now the price does change on the finish and the color that you do use so this one right here costs 3199 now if we look at this color and finish this one only costs 2399 so the price does change depending on your finish and then of course your color now if we go to visual parts there's different features you can put you can change the hood to different colors so i can go with a carbon fiber hood we have the front bumper. We can change it to a matte black, to a mesh grill. You can see there's just so many things you can actually do to this car. You can change the rims. You can see I currently have red rims on here. This did not come with red rims. So say I want to select these rims right here. I would hit next. And then once you select the rims, you can change the color of the rims to whatever color rim you want. So not only can you change the rim, but you can change the rim color at the same time. Once you're done with the rims and the color of the rims, you can change the calipers. And the caliper color does not charge you to change the color. So you can change them as much as you want. You can go from yellow to orange, I'm gonna go with the red to match my rims. So that is the caliber color I am currently going to use. So you can change as much as you want and it will not cost you anything for the caliber color. Now you can change the side mirrors to carbon fiber. You can leave the standard ones. I'm gonna put carbon fiber on there, but it is gonna cost me 897. So once you purchase something, it will automatically equip. And say you wanna go back to the standard one, you can always re-equip it at the top. You'll see that I own it already. So it'll say owned. So I can switch back and forth as much as I want. So now for the size kits, you can purchase those too. You have the standard ones. I can put some white ones 
ones that match it with the little carbon fiber on the top or I can even go with some all black ones I'm gonna actually put these all black ones on they're gonna cost me another 897 now you can continue customizing so we have the carbon fiber wing or I can leave the all white I'm gonna leave the all white for now I don't want to just go too much carbon fiber on this car so once you get to the rear bumper you can also fully customize that and then there are six different options on this current car and on other cars there might be more options but I'm just showing you on the Austin Martin there is six different options so now that I was able to show you a lot of the visual aspects of customization for the cars from the color to the visual parts let's take a look at the performance parts that you can customize on each car now you can change the brakes the gearbox the ECU the motor core the exhaust the suspension and then of course the tires now there are different level for each performance part you have your common you have your uncommon which are green parts you have your rare with our blue parts and then you have your purple which are epic parts so right here you can see I have one blue part so that's a rare part right here on the tires and then I have four uncommon parts which are the green ones and then I have two common parts I have no epic parts on this car as of right now so not only can you fully customize your vehicle you can fully customize your character so once you unlock your home on your map there should be a suit sitting around somewhere in your house and once you get there you just have to hit customize avatar and you can change everything from your upper body so that's your shirts to your gloves to your helmet to your lower body which is going to be your pants your shoes and then your racing suits so there's a lot of things that you can customize all this stuff will cost money and depending on what you purchase depends on how much each one's going to cost. So how do you earn money? Well, you earn money by doing main races and side races. So if we click on this rally raid right here, you're going to see that if I win this race on normal, I can gain 2,100 followers, which helps my status level go up. Also win 15,750 bucks. Now, once you finish a race on normal, that is when you can complete the race on hard. So first you have to complete it on normal and then you can complete it on hard. There is a world record on there and that is the fastest time that this race has been completed. And if you can beat that world record, well, your world record will go on there. With all of these features and being able to fully customize all these vehicles, I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. I wasn't too sure about the game, but having the ability to customize your boats, your aircraft, your vehicles, and then fully customize your character and then have leaderboards to grind so you can compete against your friends. That gives you something to work for and something to achieve in this game. It definitely has its fun factor and I would recommend you guys checking it out. If you really want to know more information on this game, definitely click the link down below in the description box. That will take you to the full site and then decide for yourself if you think this is a game that you want to pick up. I'm going to continue to bring you guys content on the Crew 2 as I continue to explore the full game and all the features this game has. I think this is the future of racing games. The fact that you can go from land to air to sea seamlessly with just the touch of a button i have never seen any game bring that type of feature to a racing game i like having the ability if i want to be in the boat race the boats if i want to be on land i can race my vehicles if i want to be in the air i can race the aircraft definitely something different definitely something you guys should check out remember guys use the link down below if you guys want to find out more information i just want to take a second to thank ubisoft again for sending me this gold edition and for sponsoring this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up if you guys are new to my channel it's the first time you're watching a video hit that subscribe button if you guys have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below thank you guys again and until the next video nothing but skills is out